welcome to Long Arm Wednesday. I'm Laura Lynn of the Mama Pop Quilt Shop and we're very happy to see you here today. Today we're going to fill this fabric here with some clamshells. We're just going to fill it up. I have variegated thread. It's been a long time since variegated thread has been on Walt. It's a bit of a uh, blue. It doesn't really like it. Sometimes gives lumps and bumps on the back side. So, but we're going to try it. This is actually going to be a, a project for the weekend project come Friday's video. So I need to fill her up. Okay. I have it off the belts. Um, and uh, it's a, oh, where's the thing? Oh, there it is. I just wanted it out of the way. And it's 12 stitches per inch. So we're just literally going to fill this hole up, whether you want to go left to right, bottom to top, top to bottom, whatever makes you comfortable. I have a layer of 80-20 uh, batting here, and then, of course, my uh, beautiful backing. Okay. Or front, depending on what we're going to do. Okay, let's just start off over here, the outside edge. Oops, what's going on here? Oh, there we go. There was a problem. We'll just trim that. Okay. And 12 stitches per inch. Yes, and here we go. Okay. So you just want to make a little clamshell and then a bigger one. And then a bigger one. And you can go three, four, five, six, seven, eight, however many, many times you want to go around your shell. Okay. Keep it different because, you know, why not, right? So you get it to fill in those little spots where you have to. And if there's space you just can't fill in, just do a bounce. Like here, there's not really enough room, so we'll just do a bounce. I find this is a great one to learn how to free motion because you can you're working from a point to a point and you can always start yourself off to make a block or a um, shell in that little point, right? The variegated is kind of throwing me off as I'm stitching it. I'm thinking that the batting is popping through and I'm like, wait a second here. Hope everybody's having an amazing Wednesday. And a good start to your Easter weekend coming up. Hope you got big plans. Even if it's just hanging out with yourself. Oops, oops, okay, let's re-thread. Somehow she popped. Okay. Okay, and cut. Looks like as I came into here, it looks like it's broke. Okay. So let's bring up the bobbin. Okay, make sure we got oops, plenty of that. 
Sorry. And then we'll just start off again. Make a couple locking stitches. Pull those out of the way. Scissors away. Oops, oh, 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 look for that. It's okay.
And if you just pace yourself and take your time, you can get yourself across your whole project. Okay, we'll leave that there. And I'm literally just gonna finish all this up. This actually is looking really nice right now. Kind of started off small, it's getting a little big, but I'm gonna try and keep a little bit more consistent, try and do a little bit more smalls as I work my way along here. Uh, I think it's coming nice. Here's hoping the back is just as nice as the front. It feels good, it feels good. I did use a glide thread in the bottom and then the variegated on top. It felt like when I used the variegated on the top and the bottom last time, that's when I was getting um, a little bit too much on the, the weird tension. So I'm gonna finish plugging away at this. You guys have yourself an amazing Wednesday and hopefully this encourages you as a beginner store to stitch out for either free motion quilting on your domestic machine, your mid arm or your long arm. So big hugs to you, we'll see you real soon. Enjoy the day. Oops.